Hi there guys and welcome to this experimental version of the Cryptoverse. The Cryptoverse is your regular dose for news and commentary on Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies and blockchains. I'm your host, Chris Coney. Now we're not going to actually cover anything in this episode of the Cryptoverse. I'm just going to show you this experimental format that I've been playing with so you can give me some feedback. We'll do a quick survey to see if this is something that you'd like me to continue. Now it's a hell of a lot more work. There's lights all over the place. There's a green screen behind me to create this effect. Um, it requires very precise settings. So if it isn't valuable, then I shan't continue to do it. Now, the reason I think it might be valuable is for the reasons of engagement. It's quite easy for the mind to wander when I'm just reading through a news article, right? So let's go through a few examples of what we'd see on the Cryptoverse. Now, my little highlighted cursor isn't as big as it was on the normal episodes of the Cryptoverse, where it's purely screen capture. That's because I'm able to use different systems and trust me, it's the best I could do. But at least it highlights it for you, right? So if we did the market roundup, it would kind of look like this. And if I wanted to draw your attention back to me, I would speak to you like this with the Cryptoversity logo behind me. And then when we want to turn your attention back to the screen, we do this. So I can kind of switch between the two. Now, just looking at the market roundup real quick, we see a lot of green in the top 10. You know, um, like there's everything in the top 10 has gone up today, apart from these two, which is Ethereum Classic and Monero. Now, there's a problem. When, I, when the cursor turns into a little uh, thumbnail clicker, the highlight goes away. Or well, maybe I can fix that. Anyway, so that's what the market roundup would look like. If I did um, a look at the charts, this is what it kind of looked like. And then if we go over to the articles, this is what Bitcoin.com would look like. And if we click to one of these articles, so this one about the Bank of England Accelerator, we'll focus on blockchain pilots. So scrolling down a bit, this is kind of what it looked like. I've kind of put myself in the bottom right hand corner down here because then it gets, it doesn't get in the way of anything really. You just the sidebar thing here is the only thing that gets in the way of, but we're not really paying attention to that anyway, do we? We want, we want this bit, which is the um, the main article itself, right? So, oh, look at that. An advert appeared right behind me. It scared me. Anyway, so that is what I'm looking at. Let me know if this is a format that you would like to see continue. Um, someone made the comment the other day that when Amanda B. Johnson left or stopped doing the Daily Decrypt, and then went to work for the Dash network, it left a gap for someone like me to come in. That wasn't the reason why I started the Cryptoverse podcast, but I never thought of it that way. And the thing about Amanda's show was that she was on camera. And I think that had a lot to do with the engagement and the way people kind of got to know her and got to like the show. It's very different just listening to her voice versus looking, or me looking you in the eye anyway, and uh, telling you what I think. All right, so that's going to do it for this experimental edition of the Cryptoverse. Please let me know in the comments whether you're watching this on YouTube or whether you're watching on Steemit, or if you're listening to this as a podcast, then all the screen transitions I just did, you wouldn't have seen them, won't make any difference to you. But um, if you want to go on YouTube and check it out, please do. All right, until tomorrow, guys, until the next episode of the Cryptoverse, it's me, Chris Coney, saying bye for now.